Hi there, welcome to edupediaworld.com. You are watching the videos on probability. So in this video, we will discuss some of the examples related to probability, how we can solve probability using examples. Let's say we have an examination style of questions. So how we can use the formula or the concept of probability to solve various types of questions, right? So let's get started with the first example, which is example number one. Now, the example says that a coin is tossed 10 thousand times with the following frequencies let's say head comes out to be 455 times and tail comes out to be 545 times right so we need to compute the probability for each event right so let's say how we can solve the question right now first of all we need to write since the coin is tossed thousand times right so the total number of trials is 1000 right now call the events of getting a head and of getting we can say a tail as e and f respectively right then the number of times e happens that is the number or we can say the number of times a head come up is 455 so this is how we can write right so we can say that so we can say that the probability right probability of e will be equals to number of heads upon total number of trials right so we can say sir pe will come out to be 455 by 1000 so this is how you have to write in the examination so this will be 0 0.455 right so 0 0.455 now similarly the probability of the event of getting a tail is number of tails upon total number of trials right so this comes out to be we can say p of f will comes out to be 545 upon 1000 so which is 0 0.545 right so Whenever you have done the question for probability, so you always have to check that the sum of the probabilities is coming out to be 1. So if it's not coming out to be 1, this means you have done some calculation error. So this is the way to check your calculations, right? So we can write over here that PE plus PF can be written as 0 0.455 plus 0 0.545, so which comes out to be 1 and E and F are the two possible outcomes of each trial. So this means we have done the probability calculations perfectly, right? So this is how we can solve the probability type of questions. So let's move on to the next example, which is example number two. The example says that two coins are tossed simultaneously 500 times and we get two heads 105 times, one head 275 times and no head 120 times. So we need to find the probability of occurrence of each of these events. So let's say how we can solve this question, right? So over here we can write, let us denote the events of getting two heads, one head and no head by e1 e2 and e3 right we can say respectively right so we can say that probability of e1 will be equals to 105 upon 500 when you solve this this comes out to be 0 0.21 similarly probability of e2 will comes out to be 275 upon 500 so which is 0 0.55 similarly probability of e3 will come out to be 
120 upon 500 so which will come out to be 0 0.24 right now so the last step is we need to check the calculations of the probability right so if you observe that pe1 plus pe2 plus pe3 equals to 0 0.21 plus 0 0.55 plus 0 0.24 so which comes out to be 1 and this means our probability calculations are same also we can say that e1 e2 and e3 cover all the outcomes of a trial right so this is how we can solve the probability questions if the question is given right so let's move on to the next question right and which is also a last example of this video the example says that a die is thrown thousand times with the frequencies for each outcomes let's say one two three four five six as given in the following table so we need to find the probability of getting each outcome right so we need to find the probability of getting the each outcome so let's see how we can solve this question right so we can say that now let us we can say we denote ei the event of getting the outcome i where i is 1 2 3 4 5 and 6 right so this means it can be written as e1 e2 e3 e4 e5 e6 right so then we can say that probability of the outcome which is p e1 can be written as frequency of 1 right upon total number of times the die is thrown right so this means p e1 will comes out to be 179 upon 1000 so one why 179 because the frequency for the first is given 179 right so this will come out to be 0 0.179 similarly we can say that p e2 is equals to 150 upon 1000 so which is 0 0.15 right so p e3 written as 157 upon 1000 so which is 0 0.157 so p e4 can be written as 149 upon 1000 so which is 0 0.149 so p e5 can be written as 175 by 1000 so which is 0 0.175 so similarly p e6 can be written as 190 upon thousand so which is 0 0.19 right so this is all the probabilities we can calculate for the each of the frequency right so similarly we have to check that whether the calculations are correct or not so we need to add them so we can write p of e1 plus p of e2 plus p of e3 plus p of e4 plus p of e5 plus p of e6 equals to we need to add so it is 0 0.179 plus 0 0.175 plus 0 0.19 plus 0 0.15 plus 0 0.157 plus 0 0.149 so which will come out to be 1 right this means these all our observations for the calculations for the probability are correct right so there are certain points to be noted that which are very important as far as the probability is concerned so the first point is the probability of each event right so each event lies between 0 and 1 so this means the probability of event should lie between 0 and 1 it can't be negative or it cannot be greater than 1 right second point is sum of all probabilities is always 1 right so we have discussed this so far and the last point is whatever the these are outcomes let's say e1 e2 
or E3. So how many events are happening? They are all possible outcomes, right? So these are the following very important points related to the probability, which should always be kept in mind while solving the questions related to probability, right? So in the end, I can say that thank you for watching this video on edupediaworld.com. Keep watching further videos. Have a nice day ahead.